evening guys this is Tina again uh, in this video which is the second part following my previous video and uh, uh, in last video I leave a question suppose in this project you want using GSP and TimeLeaf at the same time so we have to have a two view resolver at the same time right so how to make them work together okay let's go to the view resolver uh, controller what i'm gonna do is uh, this one i will redirect to the gsp page how about that uh have a dead mapping we can do another thing okay fine uh, get mapping which is suppose this one I want to go to the time leaf okay and I make another call oh, sorry 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 this one is not okay. public stream time leaf demo okay this one I will go to return index Okay, but this one will go to time leaf. Then I create another demo which will go to GSP. Okay, and here I will using GSP. I'm oh, sorry, GSP demo. And then in this part, I'm not when I start up, I don't redirect to here. I uh, what I'm gonna do is redirect to GSP. How about that? Smash GSP. Good. So when I start up, it will show GSP. But if I type slash time leaf, I want this one to find the time leaf, which is this index.html. The next part is just to do the configuration. And uh, as we, as I was expected, I just need to do this part. On comment here. And now we have a two view resolver here. Which one should be the first one to resolve and which one to be the uh, second one? Um, according to documentation, you can add an order okay, property, which is order. Uh, the order, if it, the higher number has a low priority. Suppose I want to the time leaf to be the first one and uh, the internal resource view resolver as second one. You can do here is give one and then here the property of the time leaf you can give zero so in this case this one have highest priority this one have a lowest priority because we only have two why uh, in the first uh, view resolve video I talk about when you have internal resource view resolver, you must make sure this one have a lowest priority. Because for time leaf and velocity free market tiles, if they cannot find, it will delegate to the, it will forward to the next view resolver trying to resolve the view. But for the internal resource view resolver, if it cannot find, we will immediately directly return 404. So this other view resolver actually don't get a chance to actually resolve, right? So you might make sure internal resource view resolver is the, the last choice, okay? And when we deploy, you deploy, it won't work. This is the weird part I, I was facing. It, it doesn't, doesn't work. work. It doesn't work properly. Okay, I have to go here. Let me close this one. Close this one, okay? It will go to, see here, when I type GSP, it is still go to time leaf. Do you Because here, what we do expect is, when I type slash GSP, the index, it will go to this. In desktop.gsp, this one should display gsp, right? Let me show you if I type a slash gsp. It will go to time leaf. And when I type time leaf, it will go to time leaf. So it will always using time leaf. It never, the internal resource view resolver, this one, 
doesn't work. But if I change this one equals to one, this one change to be zero, it will always using GSP, which is internal resource of your resource. This is the time if you show GSP and then if I type GSP it will also show GSP. In this case you can only have a one view resolver exist, cannot be multiple. And the solution I found online is like this. Both of them cannot have a suffix. Instead you have to provide something called a property called the view names, okay, value. This one view resolver only re re resolve those view names has uh, .gsp. And for this one, you property view names, okay, will resolve the values which is .html. And then we change this one to be zero, and change this one to be one. So you are go through, okay, and you have to comment the suffix, comment the suffix, and you have to change the controller. This piece you have to using GSP, and this piece you have to using HTML. You have to tell, you actually this one is resolving for GSP, this one is resolving for HTML. And here we are using view names to distinguish which view resolver you actually use, okay. And let's redeploy. Deploy successfully, and now let's go to a GSP. If you are your GSP using index GSP, right? Then go to a time leaf. It will show the time leaf. And uh, by doing this configuration, okay, by doing this configuration, view names and the view names, and also you have to change your uh, controller to have uh, index.gsp and index.html. By doing that, you achieved in one project, you can have a multiple template. GSP, you can think as a template, velocity or time leaf, frame marker, tiles, all of them are templates. So in one Spring MVC project, it's not limited to only just have one template. You can have multiple. Then you can have a multiple view resolver, okay? view resolver existing and make sure to use in order to specify the priority, okay? That's it for this video and uh, hope you are interested in the view resolver and uh, know the power of view resolver. If you still have any other questions, you can leave a comment below and thank you. See you. Bye-bye.